Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video you're going to see a complete remodel or actually more of an addition. This is a kind of a bonus room that's in the fixer upper house and we are turning it into a half bath and a laundry room. Right now it's nothing. It looks like they were planning on putting a half bath in there because there's some old plumbing underneath where it looks like they wanted to do a half bath but never ended up doing it. So in this video, we're going to be adding a vanity, a toilet, and laundry hookups, as well as new flooring and paint and fixing up the, all the stuff in the room that needs to be fixed. So enjoy the video. Here you can see the hole for the toilet. This is the flange, three inch flange. She'll fit right down there. We'll screw that down. Make sure that these slots for the Johnny bolts are on either side of the toilet, right to left. And then you put screws in all these holes and that's where the toilet's gonna sit. Uh, for the spacing from the wall, Minimum is 12 inches from the back of the wall. Since I've got plenty of room in this bathroom, I'm doing 14 inches just to give me a little bit more space. I used a four and a quarter inch hole saw, which fits pretty snugly around here. It's probably what I would advise using. As you can see, there's insulation down here and it's strapped up with some chicken wire in the crawl space, so I need to pull that out. I can get a piece of three inch pipe glued onto this and then that can be mounted and then I can go down in the crawl space, connect an elbow into it, and then connect it into the sewer main. Now I'm going to drill the hole for the vanity and I already have the hole for the washing machine. However, I think I need to make it a little bit bigger and then I'll be in the crawl space doing a bunch of plumbing. Here I got my piece cut. I'm going to prime this guy all up. Okay, we'll let that dry. Now we're going to prime the outside of this guy. Then we'll take our PVC cement, lube this up. Put this together. All right, now that it's dry, Slip it down here. Then we're gonna throw some screws in this. All right, time to set the toilet. We've got our wax ring here. We've got our Johnny bolts. So what we're going to do, take a Johnny bolt, take a nylon washer here, slide that on there, push it down, next one, push that down to hold it. Take our wax ring, set her on there, and now we're ready to set the toilet on top. Get our bolts in. Smush it back and forth. Our metal washer, put it on. Our bolt.
go. Hole for the dryer vent. Just gonna caulk around the edge of this for good measure. Okay. You always gotta get caulk on your hands. That's a pro tip. If you don't get caulk on your hands, you're not doing it right. And then you have to wipe it somewhere random where it's gonna fall on the floor and then you're gonna step on it. And track it all over the house. So we're putting the sink together. I already screwed on the faucet and now it's time for the drain tailpiece. I always take some Blue Monster thread tape and I tape up these threads on here. Sometimes um, water can get in these threads and seep through around this rubber gasket. Sometimes it doesn't, but sometimes it does, so I always tape this up. You don't have to do a ton, that's fine. And then for this guy, I always put caulk around it. This goes on the top. Then she's gonna screw right onto there. And then just make sure this guy is pointing out the back because you're gonna put this drain thing on there. Shove this down the hole. You're gonna put the drain stopper down in there. Stick this to the hole in that drain stopper. Put that back on. Now with this all the way down, that has the drain stopper all the way up. This is all the way down. You're gonna take this guy. You're gonna take this little guy. Shove it on here. Then you're gonna tighten this screw up. So again, you want this really tight. This is what's gonna hold your drain stopper in place. Then when you pull this up, it's gonna move that. First we're gonna put on this adapter onto the inch and a half pipe. Next up, the trap. Slip this tailpiece down in here. All right, now we're gonna do the bathroom hardware. First up is a towel holder. Here we can see there's actually a screw right here, so that means there's a stud, which is ideal. All right, up next, toilet paper holder. So I'm under the crawl space here, and as you see, this is the pipe that I needed to tie everything into. And it looks like at one point they had an inch and a half for maybe the vanity connected into there. But then they put on a clean out on the end of this guy. And I need to go straight over there to that pipe hanging down. That's the pipe for the toilet that I just put in. I'm going to cut this Y off right here and then get another wide that's the same configuration inch and a half coming out to three inch here 
because I'm going to need to grab this inch and a half when I go over there to the vanity and then to this wall for the washing machine. So let's do her. Alright, we got that cut off. Now I gotta run to the store and get another one of these. And then I can start connecting my pipe. Got the new part here. All right, we got the toilet drain hooked up. As you can see, it goes all the way down. Now we're going to start on the washing machine and the sink vanity. All right, so here's the pipe for the washing machine. And we're gonna put this trap on. I'm gonna put it on down here instead of up in the room. So I'm gonna put this on and then it's gonna come up here somewhere. We will connect it into the, the main line here, so. All right, that's it for the laundry machine. So you can see we've got that going in there. I put a little piece of pipe insulation uh, between this boiler main and the PVC, just in case, you know, just so it doesn't get too hot and maybe melt the PVC. I don't know if it would or not, but this will get pretty hot. So got a little piece of insulation there to be a buffer in between it. So it should be fine. Now the last piece is this big long guy. It's going to go to the sink. So I can finally get out of this crawl space and then go work above in the bathroom. video today i hope you like this remodel video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't and thank you for watching bye